Why is my posture like this? I feel like I'm trying to just like fit in the frame. Posture. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I'm white, what am I doing? <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I am finally getting around to doing my back to school haul video. So I'm actually going to be doing a little series for back to school. I'm not back in school yet. I don't get back till September 1st. So I have a little while to do this. I know some of you guys are probably back in school already. So I hope this can still help you even if you guys are already back in school. This is kind of more of just a fun video to watch. I'm going to have some like DIY videos in this little four or five part series. So just keep your eyes open for that. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to get into this. Um, I bought some really cool stuff for the school year. This is going to be my senior year of high school. So this is my last year of high school before I go off to university or college. And I'm really, really excited to film this video because I really did buy some fun stuff. Um, typically, you really don't need a lot of new stuff for the beginning of the school year, but um, I, some of my stuff took a beating from the last couple school years, so I needed to invest in some stuff that would last me for a little while. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and keep watching if you wanna see what I bought. Okay, so the first thing I bought for the school year is a new backpack. I am so excited for this. I wanted this backpack for a really long time, but I always just ended up getting like ones from Target that would typically last me like a year or two years and then they would really wear out and they would just get stained and they would rip and it was just not a good situation. So I finally got a Jansport backpack that I'm really excited for and I'm gonna be able to bring this to college with me next year as well. So this is the cool student backpack. Um, I know they come in a lot of fun colors, but I just decided to go with the basic black. I've been kind of into minimalism recently. I'm not a minimalist by any means. I like stuff too much. It's a problem, I'm working on it. But I'm really sticking with just kind of like the basic black theme this year with my school supplies so that's something to take into account but it has a leather bottom and the reason why I really wanted this one is because it has a 15 inch um, laptop sleeve which is going to be really important because I need to bring my laptop to school to be able to do an online course I'm taking so that's really exciting it has just some basic plain straps and if you can see it's um, drawstrings are like this cool maroon and dark blue color. So I really like this. It's really big. It's going to be able to fit all my binders and notebooks and stuff. And I'm really, really excited to be able to use this. I really love it. I don't know. I school supplies. I love them. The next couple things I got from Walmart, and this actually I'm not going to be using it until my second semester of high school, but I bought kind of one of these floppy um, binders. They come with loose leaf paper and they have some tabs in it for you to put in papers. You can see the rings. I really like this because first off I'm left-handed, so it's really nice because I don't have, I, there's room for me to be able to kind of adjust this so I don't kind of ruin my arm trying to write on my paper, which I really love. And I also bought these kind of sleeve things that you can put in here so you don't ruin your papers. I am a big problem maker with ripping my papers. So this is gonna be really useful. I'm really excited to use this. I'm going to be using this for math because I love having the removable loose leaf paper. So this is a great investment. I'm really excited to use it. Um, they're called the Five Star Flex. I'll leave links for everything down below, but this I'm really excited to use. The next thing I bought is pretty simple. I just bought a 50 pack of color pencils. This is a pretty legit pack. I mean, look at all these colors. I am I'm into it, no. But I love color pencils and I use them to color coordinate a lot of my notes and making note cards and stuff. So I needed a new pack of these. I've had my last pair probably since sixth grade. I've kept them for forever and like used them until they're literally like broken. So it's always nice to get a new set of color pencils and I decided to go with the bigger pack this year just for fun. It was on sale because back to school. I'm really excited about it, but I love colored pencils for doing stuff like making notes just because yet again, left-handed, it doesn't smudge when I write with it. So I love it. Okay, so if you stick around to the end of this video, I am actually going to be doing a DIY on how I make this next thing. So basically, every single year when I get a binder, I like to make like a custom front sleeve for it that I can customize for whatever class I'm taking. So if I'm picking pre-calculus, I can write pre-calculus so that I will know what it is when I take it out. This year, I decided to go a little bit differently since I don't have as many binders. So I got these notebooks um, that have little intro sleeves at the beginning so you can stick stuff in here like this. Um, so I bought about four or five of these for my classes that I'm taking. You can see what I ended up making or how I made them at the end. I made mine on Photoshop, but I know that there's free programs online. If you guys want to replicate this, I just showed some kind of some ideas for how to make this. So you guys can stick around if you want to see that. So I just bought one for this class, which is intro to education and a matching black notebook for that. So just going plain this year. 
So I got that class. I got creative writing, which I'm taking with this kind of marble background. Yet again, a plain black notebook. I am going to put a little sticker on here to say which class each notebook's from so that I don't lose them in my backpack, but just thought I would let you guys know. And then the last class is my AP Lit class and a black notebook that goes along with that. The other class that I'm going to be needing a notebook and folder for is my computer sciences class or my computer programming class that I'm taking. Um, instead of making a sleeve for this one like I did with the others, I actually bought a notebook and it's in the perspective sleeve still, but it says prepare to be amazed. And I got this from a store called Typo. I got this at Mall of America when I was up in Minnesota the other week. So I love the store Typo. They have such cute stuff. I got a couple things from there that you'll see in a little bit, but I'm really excited to use this for my computer programming class because it has some really great sleeves that will hold on my papers that I get or the handouts for that. And then yet again, just another plain black notebook. The other thing I got from Typo is this little disposable camera and this is really nerdy, but I love disposable cameras. I really like being able to like get the film off of it. I also have a Polaroid camera, which I also really enjoy, but I love this disposable camera mainly because if you see it, it has um, mountains in the background. So this is gonna be really fun for senior year. I feel like it'll be fun to go around and be able to take some pictures with my friends at the first week of school or however long this lasts me. But yeah, I just thought I would get the cute one because it was in the checkout line and I'm a sucker for checkout line purchases. What are you gonna do? Next thing I got from Walmart is actually super boring, but very necessary, and that is note cards. I got so many note cards, this is just a handful of them. I go through note cards, like Taylor Swift goes through boyfriends. I love them, I live with them. I use note cards for literally everything. It's how I study. Um, it's the only way I really study for classes where I need to remember like terms or dates and stuff like that. It just really, really works with my brain. So um, I bought some blank ones and then I bought some lined ones. So I have options. I'm really going to be using these like a mad woman senior year. I already know it and gotta restock. And what goes along with that is a note card holder. I've actually never had one of these before, but I saw it when I was looking at the note cards. And what it does is it has, it's kind of like a mini file folder thing. It has like little sections that you can put your note cards in. And I thought, why not? I mean, whenever I go to school, I always seem to drop my note cards and I always have to make sure that they're like connected in some way, whether that be with like a rubber band or with like a little clip. Like I need to make sure that they are organized. So this I think will be a good way to be able to separate like my subjects if I need to bring multiple note cards during one week. The next thing I also got at Typo, and this was actually another checkout line purchase. They had like a, if you bought this much, then you can get free stuff. So the free thing that I got <laughs> was, it says say no to homework. It's just a water bottle. I drink water like a camel during the school year. I have a camel back and I refill it probably like six times a day. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to have another water bottle. This one's kind of smaller. Um, it has like the pop-up. Can you see that? Can you see it? It says like a pop-up thing and it's BPA free. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like a good thing if they put it on a sticker. But yeah, it's just see-through and it says say no to homework. I thought it was cute, so we got it. The next thing I got from Walmart is just a pair of headphones. Um, I go through headphones a lot. It's really bad how mean I am to my headphones. I just kind of throw them in my bag and then they get broken. It's a bad time, but I decided to get a new pair of headphones. I typically love the Apple ones. They're like my favorite type of headphones. They fit in my ears really nicely, but um, this seemed like a similar shape and the bright pink, so I thought it was cute. And yeah, it's just gonna be nice to be able to keep these in my backpack so that I will know I have a pair on me if I have time or I'm studying or if I have a study hall or something like that. The next thing I got is a buttload of pencils. So many pencils. I'm a mechanical pencil fan, but I bought a pair of these Bic Pencil Extra Sparkle. I don't know what that means, but they're just normal mechanical pencils. Um, I also bought some uh, mechanical pencils by someone called Casemate. And here, these ones have comfort grips. Fancy. No, but these are just another set of just pencils that I can throw in my bag. Um, and then my favorite type of pencils are actually these ones, which are the Papermate kind of push upable ones, I don't know. These are my favorite, I bought them in multiple colors and I love these so much. They are my favorite types, they're really reusable, they come with extra erasers and extra lead so you can really use them for a long period of time. They're my favorites, I would prefer these over anything else just after years of trial and error. These are kind of my holy grail pencils which is a weird statement but 
The next two things are kind of weird and not a necessary back to school supply by any means, but I got a pair of scissors from Typo. Um, I was just gonna get a pair at Walmart, but I went to Typo first and these ones are like marble and I really needed a pair of scissors to keep in my backpack because it always seemed like I needed to like cut out something. I need to sneeze. Anyways, so I always feel like I need a pair of scissors during the school year just to be able to like cut stuff out or whatever I needed to cut off a tag or something. Um, and I'm always asking around for scissors and I just thought that this year would be the year when I would have my own pair of scissors to use. So I just bought a pair of these and I also bought a mini stapler. Um, I feel like I'll be using this a lot in my creative writing class kind of oddly enough, but I love printing out my essays and stuff, which I'm sorry trees for using up my paper, but I like having physical copies of the stuff I do. So I just got a mini stapler to just throw in my backpack. So I'll have these two just in case I need to use them during the school year and I won't have to borrow anyone else's. This next thing I actually just picked up last night and it was a not your mother's dry shampoo. So dry shampoo I feel like is the holy grail for a high school student who's sleep deprived. Um, I love this stuff. I have recently been dyeing my hair blonder. I don't know if you can see my messy top knot, but I love dry shampoo. Now that I'm going blonder, I can actually wear it and not have to worry about it looking like white in my hair. Um, I'm actually gonna be cutting off my hair soon. So I'll probably have a vlog about that, maybe. Comment down below if you would want to see like a hair care routine once I cut off my hair. But I'm going to cut it like here and it's going to be nice to just be able to throw this in my bag just in case I'm feeling kind of gross with my hair. Um, this is like a little travel size one and I don't know, it smells really nice and I've used their stuff before and yeah, I'm excited to be able to just throw this in my backpack. It's just a kind of necessity. The last two things I actually got from Anthropology, I ordered them online when they were having a sale and the first thing is they, this came with my purchase, but it was a... Um, Snow and Graham three pens for three purposes. I don't really know what that means, but <laughs> they're just these three pens. They say places to go, people to see, things to do, and they're really cute. I'm excited to try them out and see if I like them. Um, I just thought I would throw them in my bag. I think they're cute, so I am excited to be able to pack these with me. The thing I got is this Anthropology pencil case. I actually went through two pencil cases last year. One of them was a Vera Bradley one that I've had for like four years. And that one actually ripped and I was just still using it because I was like, you know what? It doesn't really matter. It's a pencil case. If I can like tape it, it'll be fine. And then I lost it. So that's great. And then my second one I had for the last like couple weeks of school and on the last day of school, I legitimately left it at the school. So I don't know where that one went, which is super bad keeping care of my stuff, but whatever. So I finally bought another one for this school year, and this one is just a gold kind of metallic-y one. They come in a couple different colors, but I like the gold one, and it says good as gold right here, and it's really big. Um, I could even use it for like makeup brushes. That's like the size frame that I would give it, but it's really big, and it's gonna be really nice to be able to store a bunch of pencils and erasers and all that type of stuff, which is really essential for me because I like to always have like seven pencils on hand so that I can like give them to people if they need them, all that good stuff. So I'm really excited to add this to my collection. I think it's really, really cute and I'm excited to put it to use. That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I had so much fun filming it. It was cool to kind of go back and see all the stuff that I had bought throughout the summer for back to school. Now that that's just around the corner for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link everything down below that you guys need to see. Keep watching if you guys want to see my how-to of how I made those sleeves for my folders or my binders. Um, I just had a quick little segment of how I did that if you guys want some inspiration. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. So the first thing I did was quickly make my um, aspects be 2400 pixels by 3000 pixels and I just titled it, which was AP Lit 12 in this instance, and I just made a couple of those presets so I was able to quickly go onto Google and go figure out some pictures. So the best way to do is probably go on WeHeartIt or Pinterest or Tumblr. I just went on Google and started typing in some keywords that I wanted. Since I wanted to stick with black and white themed, I went with black and white marble for my first image, so I just saved that to my desktop and then dragged it on to Photoshop. And then I just resized it by holding shift and just dragging the corners so that it wouldn't be out of proportion. And then I just researched through and kept scrolling and scrolling and scrolling until I found more pictures I liked. In this instance, I found some black and white roses that I really liked after scrolling for a little bit. And then and I ended up getting some black and white chevron as well. So you can see here that I'm just dragging them over, doing the same thing, shift, click, um, scroll, and getting them to fit the aspects that I wanted. So 
The next thing I did was open up this font that I have. I will leave a link to it down below, but it basically is just a bunch of different symbols and pictures and stuff that you can use for making stuff, I guess. I don't really know how else to describe it, but this one I picked a little squiggly outline that is black, which I really liked, and then I went and got a font I really enjoyed, which is just a swirly um, cursive, I guess. I don't know. It's called Bakery. I really like it. And I put that on there in the words Creative Writing. I typically tend to do these in two different word blocks just so that I can get the aspects how I want them. So I put creative first and then I did writing and I played around with the word writing for a little bit just so that it was big enough how I liked it. I wanted it to kind of overlap just a little bit. So I played around with that for a little bit. You can see here and then that was basically it for this one. This one I wanted to keep really simple and just kind of minimalist. So this next one was a little bit trickier. It didn't really take that much effort, I guess. It's pretty easy to follow, but the first thing I was doing is just trying to find a font I liked. I ended up going with one I recently downloaded, which will yet again be linked down below if you guys want to download these. They're all free. So this font is just like very Gatsby-esque in my mind. I think it's really cool. I was just playing around with what I wanted to put on this. So first I had it say AP Literature, then I had it say AP Lit, and then I changed it to AP Lit 12. So I was just playing around with how I wanted that to look. This sometimes takes a little while. It's all about feel. It's what you think looks nice. But this one was really fun to play around with. I couldn't decide if I wanted to layer them or what I wanted to do. But I realized that I really didn't like them not having anything behind them. So um, after a little bit of playing around, I finally decided, I don't know when I do it over here, but I eventually decided I wanted to put some rectangles behind it and then I had them fade out and all that good stuff. So you can see me doing that right here. I just put them behind there. And then that's basically it. I just I just layered them all up and then moved them down and... All that good stuff. Um, I actually didn't like how it looked right away. It was kind of bothering me that they weren't centered, so I centered them, and then I went back and changed the opacity of my rectangles. And I know that you can do this on Pink Pick Monkey as well, because I've done it before, but in this instance, I just thought it would be easier to do it on Photoshop, just because it's what I'm used to, but trust me, I've had my years and years of Pick Monkey days. They, uh, It's a great application. There's so many other websites with, that you can just Google photo editor free and you can get it to pull up really fast. So here I am just centering my words yet again and you can pretty much see that I was laughing internally that over on the right that layer was just labeled lit and I thought it was really funny but <laughs> that's because I'm 12 years old. So here I am going through and I decided to make a big rectangle. It looks kind of crazy at first but how I do this is you just kind of make a new layer and you have to select a thing. I didn't like how my rectangle turned out so I went back and reselected it so it would be more even. And yeah, this is how you do this. You just put a full black rectangle and then you just erase the inner part. So I did that. Yet again, didn't like how it turned out, but I went back and changed the opacity so that it would be different. I was playing around with different types of blendings, but I ended up just going back with um, the overlay one. I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but I just, I think it's called overlay. I think it's literally just called overlay. And I went through and I did that with all of them. I was just trying to figure out how I liked it to look because I wasn't sure if you could read the words good enough, but I ended up deciding that this was pretty good. And that's pretty much that. So for this one, I just pulled on my chevron that I had pulled up earlier and then was trying to find a font that I liked again for this one. So I was just playing around with different colors. And then I was like, Hey, I'm still boring. We're still going to go for the black. So I pulled out another one of the those images. I didn't want it to be the same one as my creative writing one, so I was just making sure that it wasn't like the same image, which is kind of silly, but I was like, I don't want it to look the same. So here I am going through and then getting angry that my fonts kept changing, so whatever. It's fine, guys. We're just gonna move with it. So eventually I ended up finding one that I liked. Um, it's all about, yet again, trial and error. What you think looks good or what just looks appealing to the eye. That's I'm not a professional. I've never been to any Photoshop classes. This is all just like from me learning through <laughs> like just playing around with it. So I do eventually find something that I liked and it just ended up being a plain black one. And then I wasn't sure if I want to change the color of it. And then I was like, nah, son, let's just stick with the black. So we did. And then I went back and I got a font I wanted. Oh, I added a, a stroke to the outside of it. A stroke. That's what they're called, right? Yes. Okay. I added a stroke to the outside of it in white just to make it pop a little bit more. And then I found this really cool font that looks like dots. And I think it's intended that like you actually print it with dots and then like you can put like some string through it. I don't really know. I am not that fancy. I just wanted it to look cool. So I had it say intro to education because that's the name of the class I'm taking. 
And I played around with how big I wanted the intro to part of it to be. I just did that for a little bit, trying to figure out where I wanted it and how the spacing should be. And then I went and I searched an apple clip art, which it's casual. I just wanted an apple. So I got a cute little apple clip art, which ended up just being this one. I saved it to my desktop as I did earlier and dragged it onto here. And yeah, that was pretty much that for this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.